Let's say you're an iOS developer at the hot new Silicon Valley startup. You've got 10x engineering slack rooms for every new hire and enough venture capital to bankroll a small nation state, ready to take over the world with cat photos. So your designer comes back and gives you this. And you build your UI and then go to lay it out with auto layout. It's new. It's shiny. It's what Apple recommends you use. So you add your layout constraints. Here, 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 and here. And also here for aspect ratio. And here and here for size. And it works. And you ship your app. It shows up on TechCrunch and Product Hunt, and everyone loves it. Then a month goes by, and your growth hacker wants to let people add captions. People love talking about their cats, he says. Your designer takes a look and adds a caption field. Right here, but only sometimes. And now you have to figure out how to add this with auto layout. So you grab a reference to this constraint and references to the caption labels top constraint and bottom constraint. Then you write some code to coordinate which constraints get activated and deactivated. So then you ship it. And it works. Mostly. You have a few Jira tickets, no big deal, until a month later, when you need to add a list of likes. But only if there are likes. So you go back and add more constraints, and more code to handle all these cases. And it takes a super long time to add more code, but you do it. And then a month later, you need to add comments, but only if there are comments. And pretty soon, just managing all of these constraints becomes a huge, unmaintainable mess. Surely there has to be a better way. Well, now there is. Introducing Relayout, a new approach to building UIs with auto layout. Instead of trying to juggle all these constraints, just throw them all away and build new ones from scratch. A single object defines your entire layout, making it easy to add new functionality and read your existing layout code. It's fast, it's readable, it's composable, and it makes your app less buggy. And it works with whatever API you already use for creating constraints. Except Interface Builder. Visual formatting language, the Anchor-based API from iOS 9, or one of the 6 billion CocoaPods DSLs. If it returns constraints, it works with Relayout. Simply create a view layout object in your view or view controller, giving it the root view to layout and an implementation of the laying out protocol. Then, when you need to update your layout, just call the layout function. It couldn't be easier, and Relayout provides a bunch of implementations of the laying out protocol. Generate constraints with a closure using the layout object. Mark those constraints with identifiers with the identifying layout object. Want to supply some constraints when a condition is true? Use the conditional layout. Need constraints to apply for given traits? Then you've got the trait collection layout. What if you have a list of objects that you need to constrain relative to each other? The list layout will make that job trivial. You can combine and compose laying out objects together in all kinds of ways. And the protocol has just one function, so you can build all kinds of layouts. So give Relayout a try today, and you too can finally not hate auto layout.